We got a pretty cool day planned. We're going to, uh, where, where is it? Uh, maybe like a baseball field? I'm not uh, sure. I think we're going to Fenway Park. <laughs> Staying at a courtyard, Marriott courtyard, um, a room key was dropped right outside security as people were coming in at the beginning. How are you feeling, Em? Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 120,000 square feet, so it certainly is smaller. Keeping that in mind as we How's the tour going so far? It's great. Especially since it's not raining as bad anymore. Yeah, we don't have jackets or bags. We're very ill prepared for this weather. We're good. What I think is, in terms of people often ask me best seats, if you're up here, you can see the... Green monster. Monster. <laughs> so right now we're on top of the green monster. The green monster. Yeah. Uh, finish up the tour of Fenway Park. It yeah. Is this is my second time. I think I did this like 15 years ago or so. It's my first time in Boston ever, and this was just so cool. Like, we've been saying the whole time that we wanted to see history, and I think that Fenway is the, one of the coolest ways to see history yeah. of Boston. I mean, Obviously, like, there's a lot, but it's just special. Ballparks over like 100 years, and it's definitely one of the, from baseball terminology, it's one of the weirdest outfields and just ballparks in general, yeah, but super, super cool. Yeah, and really uh, great tour. Yeah, super cool tour. So definitely recommend it. I would say do the pregame tour. Because, well, typically there would be batting practice right now behind us. But even so, they're setting up for the game now, but which is cool. still pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're really hungry. We didn't eat dinner food. last night. And we haven't had anything to eat. And, and it's... 11. It's time for food. Fenway Frank. So we were playing the Plinko game and nobody was really winning. No they're, winning. Like Coming they were getting like high fives, like they were getting like towels or, or like, you know, tote bags. bags. Yeah, pretty much. But then Emily goes out, plays Plinko, and then gets open the locker, which is like the big middle prize. And then she opens up the locker and gets two tickets to the Red Sox Yankees game uh, in two weeks, which is just ridiculous. And we're currently. Because we don't even have tickets to this game. <laughs> But, these are the seats. At St. Clyde Auto Glass, we really pride ourselves in making it easy for you to get your mission. So if you want to go, hit us up. Let us know. Sell the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, as we were continuing food tradition, we're trying to find the best food in Fenway Park. If you have any recommendations, comment down below. <laughs> We're watching live. <laughs>
somehow we're outside of the stadium, but yet still have access to the ballpark Unreal. in Jersey Street. This is really cool. Emily has since departed, but I'm getting the short rib grilled cheese sandwich, which apparently is highly rated from Seven Hours. I'm excited. Okay, so right now we're posted outside. Is that like these little tables here? You can see some behind us. Uh, pretty nice. No, Emily got. We got their chicken sausage. Yes. It's good with some peppers and onions. Mine's short rib with short rib grilled cheese. So oh. from Savonars. I'm very excited for this. Great. Right. I'm eat. We managed to find our seats. Yep. Currently enjoying the game. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing, nothing right now in the top of the fourth inning. We have a helmet. Yes. What could be that? All right. Well, we still have a little bit more Boston to explore. We do. We do. Same people, different location. Keeping you on your toes. <laughs> we missed the wave. <laughs> We're back. Take two. This time the doors are open. We left Italy without getting any food because it's like five o'clock, four o'clock. Yeah, we're just not hungry for we're meals. Just not hungry. But it was really cool to walk around. It was. Um, really good options for next time if we want to go. But when we live here. Yeah, when we live here. Uh, we decided just to get a little gelato. We also little... decided that we're gonna spend our entire lives in Boston. We did. Yeah. In Boston. In Boston. Um, got a little gelato, needed a little sugar pick me up. And yeah, now we're heading back the Airbnb to pick up our bags that we left there. Our time in this city is coming to an end. Surprise. Yeah. We will 1,000% be back here. Gotta see if we can handle life in the cold of Boston. We'll have to try the lobster roll again. again. Take two. Ooh, a hot lobster roll in the winter. It's probably delicious. Probably. Okay. We're at the airport. It's been how many hours? A lot. Um, we changed flights and then it was delayed like three hours. Mm -hmm. So now we're back to like our original time. Yep, and now we have to rearrange some bags potentially so that we don't have to get one of our bags checked. It's a whole either process, way, but either way. We're not Boston, really stressed about it, it's been great. Boston has been wonderful. Um, We've loved it. We'll be back. We 1000% will be back, 1000%. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, bye.